Résistance, oh, résistance, oh. Nous, ces femmes qui gagnent, résistance, oh. So, right after the earthquake, they all talked about how blessed they were that cities of was saved because most of them just live in tin and it's flat near the water. So we advanced started when Barbara Guillaume, Alison Thompson, Alita Frischman, myself, and a group of prominent Haitian women met to discuss the problems facing Haiti. This small country boasts over 10,000 NGOs and received over a billion dollars in aid after the earthquake, yet the conditions remain abysmal. So where did all that money go? It made us angry. We Advance was created because, basically, we were pissed off. We wanted results. Okay. We started in Wharf Chair. So over here we have our um, clinic, uh, and it's a medical You know, clinic. people thought we were crazy to go to Wharf Jeremy because it was considered to be one of the most dangerous parts of Cité Soleil. Cité Soleil itself holds a reputation for being the most dangerous part in Haiti. We are in a red zone. A red zone is an area where the United Nations has declared it's a very dangerous zone. So many of the larger NGOs are not allowed to have to bring services there. Most of the children aren't in school. They spend their days roaming the streets while their parents struggle to feed them. Sewage and trash fill the streets and contaminate the water. The same water the women use to wash and the children play in. This is the largest slum in the Western Hemisphere. And we feel that if we can make a change there and change behavior there, then we can bring it out through the rest of Haiti and change a nation. Here's what we have done in just seven months. Our Not Fonce Family Clinic has seen and treated more than 10,000 people. By the end of this year, we expect to see 60,000. There's very few medical care facilities here. Certainly no, um, no comprehensive hospital or anything like that. Services include cholera prevention classes, pre- and postnatal care, basic health needs, and community outreach. And this year, we are partnering with Global Dirt to start the first ever ambulance service for our neighborhood. This is our um, English class. Uh, we're, we're doing English classes, uh, Creole um, reading and writing classes. As I said, we do the gender-based violence classes. So there's no handle? No. We teach English classes at our clinic three times a day, three days a week, for men and women. The waiting list for these classes is well over 200. A sentence using one of the vocab words that you have in the present, past, and future tense. And she, they have to act out the words. Today, I can he cut. Today, I can he cut. We've also partnered with LA Haiti for an empowerment outreach program. The program teaches gender-based violence, human rights, hygiene, and democracy classes. Good. Very good. We have implemented our mentoring program with key staff members to be trained to take over operations. And eventually, they're going to move on and do something else. They would like to leave it in the hands of us, the Haitian women. We employ 100% Haitian staff at our clinic, including doctors, nurses, security, and construction personnel. We hold programs for the children that allow us to evaluate their health and nutritional needs. Physical education, art therapy, and sanitation classes. With the trash pickup, uh, again, this is about changing a behavior. We explain to them why, you know, why it's important to keep our environment clean. And most fun, once a week we have wash day. 200 kids finally get a bath. there is a term, potel miton. It means the center pillar of the house. Women are the potel miton of their families. They are the teachers of the children, 
the caregivers of the elderly, the breadwinners, the nurses. Studies have shown the more that women are empowered, especially in developing countries, the stronger the nation is. I, I am more hopeful than I've ever been in my whole life about Haiti. And I believe that I'm not alone in that sentiment. We Advance does not believe in bureaucracy. We believe in partnerships. We do not believe in waiting. We believe in doing. We believe that everyone has a right to dignity. And we believe it starts with women. We Advance, not Fonse.